Hi, bird. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Do you know where Jill lives? Where's Jill? See you later. Hi. Oh, hey. Hi. Where's your bike? Oh, just down there. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's fine. The 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 parakeet will look over it. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. So, we see two human beings. Yep. Uh, two females of our species. One is holding what looks like a uh, blood pressure monitor. One, oh, actually, there are three people. So one person is holding what seems to be a metallic sort of portal into some cages. And then the farthest person away, we don't see her face. It looks like female hands, uh, is pushing a syringe, like a thick syringe of liquid. Looks like food up that the snout of a bear is licking at behind bars. The, the, the rest of the image is all metal, so it's metal gray, except for the portal into this into this um, cage has been painted red, which on an aesthetic level is kind of like, okay, you know, it's a funny choice. What am I looking at? Because this looks like a bear behind a cage. It looks very grim. It's um, fluorescent lighting. It looks like it's a... It's a warehouse of some sort of industrial building <laughs> so it doesn't look very soft right so what is this um it is a miracle what you're looking at is a miracle you are looking at sarah and kelly our vet our vet manager senior manager and our vet nurse who are taking blood pressure um, of a fully conscious bear in his den and so the bear is joey oh okay and this is training and this is trust at oh. its most heightened level to show that a bear that has previously been caged, been compromised, been hurt in the past is now at the stage, at the level to which he is totally entrusting his arm to put into a sleeve, a blood pressure sleeve, okay. to be able to feel that pressure on his arm, mm -hmm. not know what it's all about, but just to be so trusting of those girls that he it, allows it to happen. And enough to eat. And enough to, of course, it's all about positive reinforcement. Sure. So you can see Sarah, who's um, got great, huge, great syringes full of yogurt and condensed milk and yummy things. Nice. That is totally distracting him. Right. Um, but, you know, there's no question. He can feel yeah, the, yeah. the cuff yeah. uh, because, you know, we've all had blood pressure taken. Sure. It's quite, quite tight, right? Sure. So, and this is the first successful blood pressure reading oh, wow. that has been given to a bear that I think, I, I'm sure in Asia, but possibly even the world, it's just <laughs> remarkable to right. see this happening. So what I uh, described uh, and projected uh, was a very, I mean, it's interesting when you think about it, that in that we've got these I, I, are they wearing? The well, you're looking at a clinical yeah, environment. A set, yeah, there, clinical you know? setting, yeah. So it's not, this is a den. You yeah. know, we've got to keep bears safe from people. Sure. And we've got to keep people safe from bears. So yeah. you know, they have to have dens that sure. are made of steel, reinforced yeah. steel. You know, so and, and it's actually an image of hope. Yeah. As opposed to what I was, you know, right, I was projecting. Right. But luckily, you're here to decode the image. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's as you say, it's very, it's it's a so positive. Well, Joey is loving it. Yeah. You know, obviously the girls are loving it because right. they're getting a successful blood pressure reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it just shows, again, that, that, that symbol of trust after so many years on a farm. How recent was this image made? Just a few weeks ago. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, uh, there are other trials that are going on. So, you know, taking blood from a fully conscious bear uh -huh. as well. Okay. Um, you imagine being punctured in, in your arm. For you know, your first time. Or, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Just and, and not moving that arm. I promise you the bears are not even twitching. They're just so focused on the positive side of the food that they're getting. Yeah. And the trust between them and their carers that they don't care what's going on right. the other end. So even things like nail trimming. So sure. to avoid an anesthetic, yeah. if a nail is growing particularly long and is at risk of growing over and puncturing the pad, sure. our team can go in there, do exactly the same process, distract the bear with something yummy and then cut the claws as wow. well. So. Wow. Which is such an unnatural notion for a wild animal. Right. Right? Because right. uh, the risk or the sort of the danger of, of somebody listening or watching or whatever is to think, oh, it's like a dog. So, yeah. you know, you trim the nails and everything. Right, these, right. these are wild animals. Yep. 
So, yeah. uh, which makes it even more amazing to have that trust built for mm-hmm. the, you know, as you describe. Well, it helps us to help them, you sure. know, even having the monthly bear checks, you know, so to get them to come to the front of the dens and stand uh-huh. so that, you know, for food, so that, um, you know, one of one of the, the vet can be standing there with a torch and can be looking at everything from right. eyes to mouth to abdomens, where you often see the, maybe even the first signs of liver cancer, example, right. from masses or swellings in the abdomen. and. Wow. Everything in between, you know, that you can do a full body check yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, while the bear is standing in front of you. And yeah. of course, we have um, health checks every couple of years on every single For bear sure. as well. So, where we anesthetize them and bring them into surgery. But yeah, yeah. But, still, but this is like, a great way of, you know, if you've got a bear that you're worried about, you know, with um, hypertension or something, mm-hmm. taking their blood pressure consciously saves on anesthetic and is yeah. just a terrific outcome because you can just get their, their BP. Sure. So great. So I know that these these are these wins, this these achievements are hard won because you just you just told me, but also because uh, it's part of the the stuff of conservation is that you recognize that the world needs to move over to a whole new reality right. Right. so that we can protect these animals. Sometimes leave them alone, let alone get yeah. involved with them. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing them a huge disservice. You know, bears by taking their bile, rhinos by taking their horn, tigers by taking their bones. Sure. It's, we are doing them a huge disservice. Well, and this... I think our footprint now is just so heavy on this earth yeah. that we, we're, you know, this is dangerous territory now, mm. you know, because we obviously need them as part of the ecosystem. Yeah. You know, bears are a core, you know, keystone species mm-hmm. out there in the environment. I mean, one of the first things that, one of our bears did last week when we released him onto grass for the first time ever, yeah. ever, oh, wow. was to dig, you okay. know, and this is obviously helping the environment. It's aerating the soil, sure. you know, they're involved, of course, in seed dispersal, you yeah. know, it, it's just in keeping our forests and our waters healthy, sure. you know, by eating carrion and dead animals and fishing and, you know, so it's, 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 it, it's our livelihood we need to protect as well as the bears and the other species yeah, well, that we survival. are custodians of, if you like. You yeah. know, and custodian doesn't mean dominion. I think mm-hmm, that people think mm-hmm. in the bibl- biblical sense that dominion means you've got all power yeah. over every single animal. Actually, I, I tend to believe that it's a, a nurturing effect. You know, sure. we've got to live in harmony with these species right. and protect them. So for the good of them and humankind. Wow. Okay. Whew, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, ama- well, it's amazing. Yeah. I I knew it was you're amazing. I knew it was going to be like full on, uh, and and you delivered. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm just oh these let's, bears. <laughs> yeah, well, let's move on to another photo to the. I think it's the fourth photo. So, is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.